Hello everyone, welcome to episode two of my photography series, a photo of a day in which I tell you about a previous photo that I've taken and how it came about and how all that happened. We are on day a, a gazillion, mil, a gamillion of lockdown. I've lost count. Apologies if I look a little bit sleepy. I've taken to having afternoon naps, which is lovely. Not an irregular occurrence anyway, but lockdown seems to have sealed the deal on the old napping front. Also, I'm wearing a beanie. The temperature has plummeted the last couple of days. Let me show you. Uh, let's do a little quick video here out of the window. Look, snow. It has been raining the last couple of days, which is nice. I quite like a little rainy walk. Um, but hopefully it won't last too much longer and we'll get the sun back because big announcement yesterday, apparently pretty soon in less than two weeks, lockdown measures could be eased slightly in which we won't have to have a piece of paper to leave the house. We'll be able to go up to 100 kilometers away from our house. We'll be able to do sports. Now I was thinking of trying to go because I started with such an early photo for episode one. I was thinking of trying to do them chronologically, but then I thought, <laughs> no. So the next photo for this episode is of this one. This photo was taken back in October of last year. You'll notice a couple of characters in the bottom left of the frame. That is my friend Sarah, who I often go on hikes with, and my other friend Atten, who is a dog, a labradoodle to be more specific, and he often comes on walks with us too. To be fair, he's probably the main reason that we go on walks. It was taken at a place called Moncali, which is just down the road, uh, the other side of Leger, and we drove up to Moncali and did a circuit around Montcherie, which is another mountain that's in Leger. This photo I quite liked. It wasn't my favorite photo of the day, obviously. I found this tree, which was quite nice, but I couldn't really find a good composition with it. And basically I got this photo as we were on the home stretch, just walking back to the car, really. We came around a corner on the path and it was just like, Oh! You just had this line of clouds which were coming over the top of the Peak de Marcelli. And with the sun backlighting it, it just looked incredible. Stunning view and I had to take a photo. I didn't really know what I was doing at the time because the sun was shining in the lens and trying to expose for that. And then the foreground as well was very, very tricky. And I kind of struggled to be honest. If you look at the photos it was taken, you'll notice there is zero detail in the foreground. And obviously, because I've exposed for the sun and getting that nice sort of um, flare effect, I think I was at F22 maybe? So I had to bring up the exposure in the shadows. So that was a hell of a baptism of fire with the denoise tool in Photoshop Camera Raw. Managed to denoise it quite well, actually. I was really surprised how well that came out in the end. What I really love about this photo is the way that both Atten and Sarah are just looking up in awe at that mountain with the clouds on that. And that's completely natural. I was just snapping away as they were walking away from me down the path. This photo wouldn't be that good if they weren't in it. I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of photographers get really um, anal about removing lens flare and I get that lens flare is quite a cheesy kind of thing. I remember when Photoshop first came out and there was that lens flare filter and everyone went mental with it and they were putting on like designs and photos and I don't know, in my opinion, in this photo it kind of works and I left it in, I could have edited it out but I quite like that it's there and it's a natural lens flare. So that's this episode's photo. I hope you like it. Um, let me know what you think. You might hate it. What do you think of the lens flare? Is it good? Is it bad? Subscribe if you want. Look me up on Instagram if you want. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're gonna be released from your prison soon and we can all get back to normal taking lovely photos in the countryside. I'll see you next time. That was really cheesy. <laughs> but I will see you next time. Bye.